Madam Chair, members of the board, to our community that's present with us today, good evening. To those of you who are at home viewing us, good evening to you as well. It's my honor and privilege to share the district highlights, which are organized around the four core values of learning, character, community, and joy. And so as always, we will begin with learning. Lone Leaf Middle School is being rewarded for its commitment to expanding access to, access to computer science for all students. Code.org has selected Lone Leaf Middle School to receive $10,000 from the, CES, from the CES Leadership um, Prize to continue providing students with opportunities to learn computer science as part of their core K through 12 education, especially students from underserved communities. Longleaf is one of two schools in South Carolina selected to win the cash prize. Nicola Smiling, a computer science teacher at Longleaf, applied for the award and will receive a no-cost scholarship to attend Code.org's professional learning program in the summer. The online application process for Richland 2 Choice got underway this week. Parents and students have until Wednesday, January the 25th at 5 p.m. to apply. Richland 2 Choices, Choice includes Magnets, Expanded Choice, and the R2E School. Applications for the Richland 2 Center for Child Development 4K program will be available February the 1st. Space will be limited. Parents who are interested in applying should start formalizing, uh, familiarizing themselves with the application process now. Learn more and apply for choice and the child development program at richland2.org. The character portion of the report highlights the December Rookie Teacher of the Block. Ariana Brown, second grade teacher at Lonnie B. Nelson Elementary, is the, district, is the December Rookie Teacher of the Block. She was nominated by Principal Twanisha Gardner for providing an innovative classroom environment by setting clear expectations for all her students. Dr. Gardner said that her nomination, uh, Ms. Brown develops, she develops positive character, character traits by being a model for students, demonstrating the expectations for classroom, hallways, playground, and cafeteria behavior at all times. Brown is known, frequently recognized uh, positive character traits and starts conversations with parents with a positive statement about students. The district partner, H&R Block, sponsors this award, and each month a new teacher is chosen, and then an overall winner is selected as Rookie Teacher of the Year. Winners receive a plaque to hang outside their door, uh, discounted tax preparations from H&R Block, and other valuable goodies. In the area of community, early bird registration is now open for the Premier 100 Conference. $30 to cover your registration through January 15, and after that, the cost for participants is $40. The Premier 100 Conference will be Friday, February the 10th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. and Saturday, February the 11th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Friday night's keynote speaker is Principal Kafele, a highly regarded urban educator, master teacher, and transformational school leader from New Jersey. The Premier 100 Conference serves as an answer to the call of strategically recruiting and retaining minority male teachers. Less than 2% of teachers nationwide are minority males, and this is a public event which is open to all. And now for some joy. Jackson Creek Elementary School Principal Dr. Sabina Masso-Taylor is adding two more awards to her resume. The South Carolina Early Childhood Association recently announced Dr. Masso-Taylor will receive the Kevin Swick Family and School Community Partnership Award that comes with a check for $250 and a certificate. She will also receive the honorary Jean Green Administrators Award for her work with children and families throughout her career. Kevin Swick was a a professor of early childhood education in the Department of Instruction and Teaching Education at the University of South Carolina, Columbia. He encouraged Dr. Maso Taylor to pursue a doctorate in early childhood education. Both awards will be presented at the SCECA conference being held in Myrtle Beach on February 2nd through the 4th. As you may remember, last month, the American uh, Consortium for Equity in Education named Dr. Maso Taylor as the champion of equity in their school leadership award category. And finally, Andrea Dickey of Richland Northeast High School, Pam Bruni of Kelly Mill Middle School, and Stephen Bidwell of Bridge Creek Elementary School were among 27 educators in the first graduating class of the South Carolina Financial Literacy Master's Teachers Program. Congratulations to all of our awardees.